Hello. Hi. Welcome back. Uh, we're into the agent phase now, uh, which is the third phase in the, no, wait, I can count the second phase in the third video bit we've done, second phase, because the first one was set up. Um, so again, in the round, we have the enemy phase, which we've, we've just done, and we both took a bit of damage from that. Yep. And now it's into the agent phase, time for us to get a bit of revenge. Mm -hmm. Each agent in the agent phase has three actions represented by these cubes. Uh, and you can spend them in any order you like. Generally, each one lets you do an action, but each agent has a set of unique actions, some of which take two or sometimes even three cubes mm. to do. Um, and this is one of the most interesting parts of the game because it is a discussion between the players. It's a conversation about the best way to go about doing things. Um, it's not like a lot of games where there's a very set turn sequence. There's a lot of room for us to improvise and come up with cool tactics. So, uh, what do you think we should do? Right, so, first of all, I think we need to get that frog monster out of the same area as yeah. the clue. Yes. Because if we try and investigate the clue while there's a fro there's an enemy in the same area, that's going to downgrade dice. Yeah. So, what we need to do is either move that enemy or destroy him completely. Now, he's pretty sturdy. Yeah. Um, so we might not be able to kill him. I mean, we probably can. So if... when it comes, yeah, when it comes to enemies right up in our, in, in our grill, mm -hmm. so to speak, I think Hellboy is the one to deal with that. Yeah. So. so I suggest that I do a big right hook to get him out of the area because even if I don't kill him, yeah, I'll be able to move him because big right hook allows you to make a fight action and if you hit, the target suffers three additional damage and is stunned and is hurled and hurled basically throws them for a distance. Yep. So that's a really that's a really good it's a, one. It's a it's a great fun it's a it's a great thing. fun. Who doesn't like it, you know? But, yeah, but then I think Liz, you should probably just concentrate on then wiping out whatever's left. Yeah, totally. Because your investigation is terrible. How dare you? Um, I've got I've got a focus, and it isn't on looking at clues. <laughs> it's on the setting fire to frogs. That that's what yep. I do. So uh, Hellboy's got a better investigation. So I've got orange um, yep. or square investigation. Um, where Liz has yellow or circle. Yeah. So uh, that means that Liz's roles would be worse for yeah. investigating. I think less talking, more punching. So I, I'm going to do Punch that, that frog. I'm going to punch the frog. Are you going to oh. roll your action cubes? <laughs> <laughs> You've scored uh, nothing. No, <laughs> Go home. Punched. Right, okay. I'm, uh, wearing, I'm doing my effect dice as well. well. Hang on, hang on. Hellboy punching with orange dice. Oh, it's because I'm getting confused. <laughs> You're putting me off. I am. So the dice, incidentally, you're talking about upgrading and downgrading. The dice go in stages. So yellow is worst, then yep. it's orange, then red. Then there are these mystical black dice, which you only get by upgrading red dice. So certain mm -hmm. things can upgrade or downgrade dice. So for example, if you were making that, I could now spend an action cube to let you upgrade one of your dice. Yes. And that would turn it into a, a black die. Um, but you don't need it. You're Hellboy. You don't yeah. need a big right hook. You're going to roll those. It's going to be fine. Ooh. So that's, you've got a re-roll symbol. Now the question is, do you re-roll that one? Well, the re-roll lets you re-roll uh, as many dice as you I'm like. I'm absolutely going to re-roll the one. Yeah, cool. Because... Go big or go home, basically. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean... That's five. You did neither. Um, yeah. so that's five. That's five. And now, that was a re-roll. the big right hook kicks in if you hit yes. the enemy. That means you deal at least one damage to them. So five is your score. Minus the, the resilience of two. Yep, yeah, they've got resilience of two, so that... That's three, so you've hit, done hit. three damage, yep. plus three Two more, which is six, which, which is, is actually enough to kill him. That's, but that's as health. he's hurled, yep. he then hits that. That. Yes. So what happens is that the, the order it goes in is that the frog monster is hurled, then he dies. Yeah. So he still or, does I mean, his damage. I think either way, you're, you're just going to punch a dead frog monster into his mate you know yeah i think whether he dies first is kind of academic at this point but the important thing is when he gets hurled he would smash into furniture and hurt himself or deal damage to other things in the area so that other frog monster takes a two mighty damage, two damage which will track with these little red markers here yeah okay so that's a decent start that was, so you've, that was good you've, you've cleared the frog monster out of the area yeah um I'm now in a position to have a shot at the other one. If I'd had a go at shooting, in fact, I, I couldn't shoot while the other one was in my area because you can't do rain, uh, shoot actions while there's a frog monster in your area no. or an enemy of any kind. Um, now you could, if you wanted to, now use that um, examine uh, action. 
I suggest that I hold off. Yeah. And that you take out that frog monster, however you wish to and do it. And if I've got it. any actions left, you can then spend can your actions your to upgrade my dice yeah, roll. I love it. So I'm going to have a go with Living Flame. So I'm going to do a Flame Blast here. Mm -hmm. Liz has got some really cool pyrokinetic abilities. So every agent has two starting cards. Um, Hellboy's ones are a bit more straightforward. You've got a pistol and the ability to dig in useful kit out of your mm -hmm. pockets. I've got a pistol and this, this thing here, which is Living Flame. It's an ability with a tracker on it. As I take damage or spend actions stoking the fire, I start increasing this. And the higher it goes, the more damage my flame attacks do. Whenever I use a flame attack, it will bring this back down. It's like a pressure cooker. I'm releasing some, some steam. But if I take damage and that advances into one of the red squares, it advances twice. And if it goes off the top, I flip it and explode. Mm -hmm. No one likes it when that happens. No, no it's, <laughs> it's, it's quite bad, really. Yeah, completely. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, fling, some, some, fling some flame at this frog. Fling the flame at the frog. Okay. Fling the flame at the frog. Enjoy your I can do this. Flinging. I've got uh, three red dice and a blue. And let's see what we get. That's not a brilliant roll, is it? One, two, three, four in total. Plus your uh, Plus flame. my living flame of one, which is five. Uh, Venomous frog monster has resilience of two, so that's three damage. He's not quite dead yet. Uh. But you know what? It only takes one more to hurt him. Now, that would reduce my living flame tracker by one, but it, it hasn't been uh, increased at all, so it stays there. And that cost me one action cube. I'm going to do it again, though. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the most important thing. If you're playing as Liz, you need to get hold of the Inferno markers because you're going to be using them a lot. Um, again, in the retail version, these are cardboard, but we've got the lovely Kickstarter ones. I've just set a small fire in that area there. Okay. Um, now, that will potentially do some damage to him at the end, end of the round. So I could leave it there. Use my other action to help you examine that clue and let the fire kill the frog. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm living dangerously. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what are you going to do? Are you going to upgrade my my dice roll? So I've got one action that I can do to make a clue You know test. what? Actually, I'm thinking no, because what we want to do, we've taken a lot of damage already. We want to rest. Yeah. So we want to clear out the enemies in the agent phase. It's going to be so, really restful yeah, for, with yeah. a fire burning next to us. <laughs> I can see that. It's, it's warming. It's okay. nice, you know. Okay. It's cosy. And you're like basically immune to fire. No, it's not immune though, is it? <laughs> Resistant. Uh, so I've got a one, two, three. Yeah, that's enough. One, two, three, four, five. Plus the six, one, two, living fame. Five, four, four damage. He only has one left. So that is a dead frog monster. Um, now, incidentally, even though I've done another flame attack, I don't add another inferno marker to the area. You only do it once. Basically, it's, it's binary. An area is on fire or not. Just like in real life. Uh, <laughs> so that's the, that. I've got one action left. You've got one action left. So uh, if you could spend your action to upgrade one of my dice, yep. then that, what that means is that one of my dice has been upgraded to a red. And um, now you can make, and now an, I can make an examine roll on that clue. Yep. And the way this works is... Oh. Uh, well, that's just terrible. <laughs> the way that the examine <laughs> roll works is so if just... you score three... So a zero, one, or two... Nothing happens. Three, four, or five, you discard the clue token and you advance the information gathered track. Six or more, you discard the clue token and advance the information gathered track twice, which would be awesome. However, you've rolled a catastrophe there. That's the, the, yeah, the skull. Is... That's not great, is yeah, it? Yeah, the skull wipes out your highest scoring die. So, you've got so a one. I got a one. So you're going, I don't know what this is. I'm sure it's something. <laughs> Liz, Liz, look at how look at this weird thing. What does yeah. it mean? <laughs> so that's the end of the agent phase. Um, on the plus side, with no enemies on the board, we can now go into the rest phase. Mm -hmm. Now, in the rest phase, we each get to make one rest action. Okay. Um, also, this is called taking time, and some things replenish when you take time. For example, if you've got uh, one of your guns has run out of ammunition, it might say uh, flip this when you take time. So taking time is a really useful thing. What it does, though, is it advances the impending doom marker one space along the track. Because it so, takes time. Yeah. And this is a, a It's a currently tracker. on one, isn't it? Oh, no, we, we, we skipped around, didn't we? So it should be on two. Yeah, oh. of course. That's good. That was on two. That was, 
Now, now it's on three. What yeah, are you doing? because we're advancing it. You're taking a maniac. Time. Yeah, okay, right, fine. <laughs> uh, I, so now we have the choice of either yeah. clearing out the fire, mm -hmm. which I think is fine, it's, it's only fire, picking up the clue, mm -hmm. and if we do that, we pick up all the, so we pick up a clue and we advance the information gathered track twice. So it's like getting a good roll on an exam test because you're taking your time over it, you know, you're looking really carefully. Or you can roll two red dice and heal that much damage. And that's each each, each agent, agent can do can one of those to things. do one of those three things. So that's yeah. clear out a fire, investigate a clue, or heal. You know okay. what I'm gonna do? I'm feeling charitable, so I will get rid of that fire I put down. Oh, thanks. It, it's like the country code. It's like closing a gate after you've gone through it. I'm just gonna get rid of the fire that I, I, I've made. Um, I I I might. Roll yeah. The heal. Yeah. Oh, that's the first good roll I've done. <laughs> so you clear so out all your damage. That was a, I've rolled a five, so I clear out all of my damage. Brilliant. There we go. Nicely done. Taking a breather, it's yeah. all good. Now, we just took time, mm -hmm. and one of the cards that's in play says, when the agents take time, flip this, this immediately card. after advancing the impending doom track. So generally we would advance the impending doom track at the end of the uh, thing, oh, yes. but now we do that. So flip it over, see what it says. It says, you gladly take the opportunity to catch your breath. As you're getting ready to carry on, you hear the sound of wet, slapping footsteps back towards the entrance. Uh-oh, reinforcements. <laughs> so we spawn some minions in the starting area. This is the kind of thing the game can do. You'll get little things that react to what the players do. It's almost like someone running the game for you. Mm. Um, uh, so we end up with uh, an A, a and a, C, a rampaging, and, and, and an armed. There at the go. bottom it says, then discard this card. So. Yeah, those have now spawned in the starting area. Well, there we go. So that's the um, uh, the rest phase. And we might as well jump quickly into the doom phase. Doom. Do it all in one go. Doom. Doom phase is dead easy. You draw the top card from the deck of doom. Oh dear, bad temper. Put this card in play next to Hellboy's agent board. Each round, one of the Hellboy's actions can be only spent to make fight actions. It cannot be spent in any other way. Discard this card when Hellboy suffers an injury or the agents take time. So an injury is when your health track's full and you start flipping these over. Um, so you, you, you've got angry, probably yeah. because a lot of frog monsters have turned up next to us. Exactly, so what that basically <laughs> means is I still get my three actions every single turn, but each round, one of them must be a fight. So it limits my options. I can't choose to investigate three times or to move three times. And what it means is that I'm limited and that I'm, I'm constantly having to fight. To be fair, if you're healthy, I mean, yeah. you know, you're probably gonna do it anyway. Yeah, exactly. Um, now also, a lot of these cards will also tell you to advance the impending doom track. This one hasn't, No. Nope. but that's generally how the impending doom track will advance. So, um, so that's, that's it. Then we can come into the end phase and we get our action cubes back ready for the next round. Also, if there were fight, was fire on the board, we would roll to see if it spreads. Uh, frog swarms might do things. There's all sorts of little fiddly rules that come in in the end phase. But it's basically, like I say, it's an admin phase. It's just yeah. a, spend 30 seconds cleaning the board up ready for, ready for the next round. Brilliant. Uh, that's, that's a round of play. Yeah, We've there we it. go. Go team. So uh, we're going to do a few videos now on some of the other rules in more detail, on looking at the agent board, target priority, that sort of thing. Yeah. Awesome.